Welcome back to the CS Podcast. I am your host, Chris Shanfell, and I am now joined by 2014 NFL Draft prospect, three-time FCS National Champion, running back out of North Dakota State, Sam O'Jury. Thanks for joining the show, Sam. How's it going, man? It's going pretty good, Chris. Thanks for having me. Hey, the pleasure is all mine, and I want to start this interview off with a pretty simple question, and that is, coming out of Barrington High School, which is here in Illinois, how did you decide to attend North Dakota State University? Um, you know what? You know, at first it wasn't that appealing, but then I went on that visit, and I just saw, you know, the potential that school had at the time, and it was on its way up, and, uh, you know, the people... You know, the nicest people around and, and you know, future teammates, it was, it was just, it just clicked once I went on my vis- official visit and, uh, and uh, just looked back from there on out. It's a good time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see you were able to play in seven games as a freshman. I know it was a while ago, but is there is there any chance that you could tell us about that very first college football touchdown that you uh, you ran in? Oh man, okay, so at the time we weren't doing that good. I think it was like four uh, four weeks into the season and um you know, I I was doing a really good job on the scout team, you know, just making plays and uh Coach Ball and, you know, he said he called me into his office and he said, you know, we think putting you on the field is gonna give us a better chances of winning. And uh, so I stood up that week, and uh, sure enough, I scored uh, the go-ahead touchdown in the fourth quarter. It was uh, definitely one of my most exciting moments. Were you surprised when uh, Coach, you know, told you that, hey, we want you to suit up this week? Were you surprised at all? I mean, this is your first year at North Dakota State. I, I got to think you kind of thought that, you know, chances are I might be sitting out this season. Yeah, well, you know, I wasn't too happy that I was registered in the first place. But, you know, I, the best thing I could do is just, you know, make plays on scout team. And, mm-hmm. and uh, Coach Ball's a guy that I look to as, like, a philosophy. Uh, you know, always gives me the best advice. And, you know, I trusted it. I trusted that, deci- that decision. And, uh, you know, I, I'm happy I did it. And, and I see that you actually redshirted in the 2010 season. Can you tell us why that was and what a few things uh, that, you were, that you would do during uh, that time off to, you know, better your game? Yeah, um, in the offseason, I got into uh, some trouble with uh, Coach Ball. You know, it wasn't anything, you know, illegal. It was just, you know, at that time, he thought it was best that I sit out, sit, sit back and, you know, and watch. And, uh, and I took it, you know, as a, you know, I took it like a man. And uh, I just worked to get back up and uh, pretty much just listed with the team. Uh, I got, you know, I got bigger, stronger for the next three years, and it, it, it all worked out. Everything happened for a reason. Yeah, absolutely. In 2011, you came back and was able to play in all 15 games, made one start that season. You ran for over 1,100 yards and 11 touchdowns, and you helped lead your team to the uh, Na- yeah. FCS National Championship game. Uh, I got to ask you, what was it like to come back after that year off and to just be able to contribute to the, the you know, the team's success, finishing the season 14-1 and and winning your first national championship? What was this all like? Man, it was, it was, uh, you know, it was a big sign of relief because, you know, I was, uh, you know, I was watching, I was watching my teammates, uh, play without me and, you know, I made a testament to myself that, you know, I'm going to do whatever I can to help this team move forward and, uh, you know, I was able to do that throughout my career there. Mm Mm-hmm. Entering the 2012 season, having having such a great and successful season in 2011, did you know that you would be the starting running back for the North Dakota State Bison? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I was uh, they brought me in as a freshman, and you know, I was their guy. And it was my time, and uh, you know, we run, we do a two running back system, but I I definitely was a starter, and uh, you know, I did. Best job leading my team in any way possible. 
You ran for just over 1,000 yards and 12 touchdowns in the 14 games that you played and started in. Uh, Sam, you guys went on to defeat Sam Houston State yet again in the FCS National Championship game. What was it what, what was it like for the team to win two straight national championships? And then, you know, I just got to ask you, what was the locker room like after that second straight victory? Oh, man. That's where the describe is. That's euphoria. I mean, just happiness all around and you know, we put in so much work throughout the whole year just to uh, just to come out and uh, you know and watch all our hard work pay off. And uh, that's you know that's that's the bond that we have between each other back at uh, back at school. So everybody's just so close because we sacrifice so much and uh, and we reach we reach we reach greatness. Mm -hmm. After winning two straight national championships, after you know being able to contribute the way that you did for the North Dakota State Bison, Sam, what were your personal and team expectations for this past season, knowing that it will be your final year to prove to everybody that you can play at the next level? Well, my, uh, you know, first of all, we didn't want to lose any games. So, uh, you know, we took a upon ourselves in every way possible. Everybody do their job 110%. And uh, just listen to the details, you know. It's, it's football to give the details, all the little things. And, uh, and uh, uh, I knew that, you know, if I, uh, you know, kept my head up and uh, just kept staying positive, I'd be able, uh, I, I would be able to, uh, help our office move forward. And, uh, you know, the line did a great job. I mean, throughout the whole year, it's just, you know, moving guys out of the way. And, uh, you know, it's just everybody doing their job. And, you know, I was just proud of myself in doing my job. And, you know, that's what it's all about. Well, you said you guys didn't want to lose a single game, and I don't think you guys could have finished any better. The North Dakota State Bison finished the season undefeated, 15-0 and with yet another FCS National Championship victory, uh, like you said, this time over the Towson Tigers. And Sam, you had your best season statistically, uh, rushing for two yards short of 1,400 yards, along with 10 touchdowns. You guys had a hell of a running back duo with yourself and John Crockett as, as the two of you guys uh, ran for over 2,600 yards and 21 touchdowns. I gotta ask you, Sam, how would you describe not only this past season, but your overall experience at North Dakota State University? Oh, uh, man, it's, it's almost like, man, it's almost like a dream. Some of, the, some of those moments that will stay with me forever and, and the friends and the teammates and the coaches, all the relationships that we've made, it's just, you know, it's a special place in each and, you know, each and every one of our hearts. And, uh, and, and like you, you said, John Crockett before, like, you know, that's probably going to be, you know, my, the best man at my wedding, you know, and we're over there competing for, for carries and games. And it's just, it's, you know, the competition between us, it, it made us that much closer. And, and it just it made brothers out of everybody, so that's something I won't forget. And you know what, it's funny that you say, uh, you know, your teammate John Crockett, he'll probably be the best man at your wedding, because when I watch the North Dakota State Bison, it seems like you guys aren't just a regular team. It does seem like you guys treat each other like family. I mean, are you guys like a family, would you say? I mean, it seems different than a regular old college yeah. football team. Yeah, yeah. If you think about it, we pride ourselves in being an organization, not just a team. You know, an organization is... is uh, Serious teams that come in every year and that can be consistent. And uh, that's something that uh, I really like about North Dakota State is we have our tradition and we're always going to do what we're going to do and you got to stop us. And, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, it's a mentality that's instilled in all of us and, and, and you know, that's something that won't leave us for the rest of our lives. Well, you guys sure have a lot of talent on that team, and I'm sure that has a lot to do with the success yeah. you guys have had. But I, I think that the relationships that you guys have have something to do with the success. And, uh, you know, moving on, Sam, my next yeah, question for you is, what's it like to have a quarterback like Brock Jensen under center? I mean, he's a guy who can sling the football down the field. He could also tuck and run. Uh, how do you think the quarterback at North Dakota State complimented you, the running back? Oh, man. Uh, there's so many teams like throughout the, you know, 
in, in college football that lack the quarterback that, you know, put the ball where it needs to be or snap the ball right at the at the perfect you know, perfect second or you know, calling that audible puss in the right position. Brock did a tremendous job throughout his career just managing the offense and managing the huddle and, you know, on game day, uh, you know, we were all in the huddle, we're all looking straight into his eyes. And, uh, you know, that's something that we, as an offense, we prided ourselves in, in, in trusting in Brock. And, man, he came through every game, straight consistency from that guy. And uh, he's a hell of a quarterback. Oh, you got that right now. Now, Sam, throughout your entire college football career, in your opinion, what has been the biggest or most memorable play that you've made? Um, I really like the, uh, the 66-yard the run from Kansas State. Just because, you know, those, those are the type of plays that I pride myself on, on making. Uh, you know, it was late in the third quarter. We were down by two touchdowns. Um, we were on our own two-yard line, and, uh, and the team needed a spark. And, uh, you know, the offensive line, once again, did a great job to create a hole up front. And yeah, basically, I just had to outrun the safety. And uh, 66 yards later, the, uh, the backside corner had got me. I really wish he wouldn't because it would have been a nice little touchdown. <laughs> but uh, that's uh, that 66 yard again. 66 yard at Kansas State was something that I'll remember for a long, long time. Chris Shanfeld talking with 2014 NFL draft prospect running back out of North Dakota State University, Sam Ojuri. And Sam, ha have you ever uh, have you talked to any scouts lately? If so, what are they saying about you? Uh, I really haven't talked to much scouts, um, but you know, there's a group of scouts coming in uh, throughout the year, and a lot of them said that you know. One of the, if not the best pass blocker they've seen all year. And, uh, you know, and that's not even, you know, that's just something that I've, I've picked up the last couple of years. And, you know, obviously I can run and make plays and, and, and catch the ball in the backfield and, and make plays with that too. But something that I really pride myself on is being a complete back and, uh, protecting the quarterback and, uh, and picking up blitzes. And uh, I really like that because, you get to read the defense, uh, and you know, if you get a sack, and, and, and you're just like, nope, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> and uh, that's something that I pride myself on is just, uh, uh, just picking up those blitzers. And you mentioned being a complete back. I, I mean, it's kind of funny. You know that this show is being broadcasted out of Chicago. You're from Illinois yourself. And I actually, you know, looking at your highlights, I actually see a little bit of Matt Forte in you. I mean, you could pick up the block. You're an all-around running back. You could you could catch the football. You could run the football. Uh, you know, you, you certainly have a bright future. I could tell you that. And, you know, Sam, just a few more questions for you, then I'll let you go. I really do appreciate your time, man. Uh, now, according to NFLDraftScout.com, you are ranked the 105th best running back out of all 228 of them that will be entering the 2014 NFL Draft. Uh, do you pay attention to stuff like that? Where you're ranked and where people have you going in their mock drafts? Um, you know what? I, I did earlier, um, but then I stopped. Uh, I stopped looking at that once I dropped like 20, 20 spots. I, I was at like <laughs> 88. I was at like 88, and all of a sudden I, I'm, I'm uh, you know, 100, and uh, you know, I'm just. Try not to look at that, and you know that just makes you know that just puts a chip on my shoulder even uh, a little bit heavier, and uh, it gives me motivation to keep working out every day and, and work that much harder. For my to show these scouts that you know I'm capable of, you know I'm capable of being, you know, a great football player in the National Football League, and uh, you know, I, I have total confidence in myself, and uh, yeah, I should be ready to go. All I need is one chance. Hey, and exactly, that's all you That's all you need, and you know just as much as I do that these uh, mock drafts certainly don't mean anything. I mean, I, it's pretty interesting to see yeah. what these guys think, but uh, they, they really don't mean much until, you know, the NFL draft actually rolls through. And uh, my next question for you, Sam, is when did you find out that the NFL may not only be, be a dream, but it could become a reality? Um, and, uh, probably at the age of 10, it was a dream. 
It's only the beginning, man. I, I love it. Now, now this the answer to this question might be Matt Forte, like I mentioned earlier. It may not be, but if you would compare yourself to a running back currently playing in the NFL, who do you think that will be and why? Yeah, I, I understand where you're coming from, Matt Forte, man. Uh, yeah, he, he does a great job out of the backfield, and, and that's what you need to do as a running back. So I'd probably say probably Matt Forte and uh, Jamal Charles. Those are two guys that I can see myself uh, playing like. I want to say that you're, you're thinking of Jamal Charles because you, you think you're a little faster than Matt Forte, don't you, man? <laughs> <laughs> um, man I, I won't say that, but you know, if, it, if I need to run away from somebody, I, I'm running fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's say for whatever reason there's an NFL general manager listening to this very interview. Why should he want Sam O'Jury running back out of North Dakota State on his team? Uh, it's just, you know, I'm a, you know, a complete football player. You know, I'm, I'm not just a running back. I, you know, I pride myself on being a student of the game and just learning and, and taking what I'm coached and transitioning it onto the football field. That's something I can do, like, with a snap of a finger. And, uh, you know, there's not much thing that comes easier to me than, you know, the game of football. At least learning, learning it at least. So, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a hard-working individual. And, uh, you know, I just think, you know, uh, you know uh, a guy that can run the ball, but, I can go in there, I, I, I can catch, I can go in there, I, I can block up third down, um, I can return a kick, I can be on the front line uh, on the kickoff return, uh, you know, I can, I can run down and make a tackle on kickoff, man, I'm a, you know, I'm a football player, I'm just not a running back, and uh, that's something that I want to get out, because, you know, there's still a lot to be learned, and my ears are open, and I, I'm ready to, I'm ready for the next step. You're willing to do whatever you can, and, and you know I'm sure many uh, general managers, coaches really do appreciate that. And uh, like I said, just a couple more questions for you, Sam. I really appreciate your time. I, I gotta ask you, man, uh, how excited are you for your pro day, the the NFL draft, which is coming up in May, man? I, I gotta think you're really uh, enjoying this experience. Man, I'm really excited for my pro day. I'm, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to show the scouts what you know what I can do and, and my because, you know, I'm a really athletic person and, you know, I'm not only going to surprise the scouts. I mean, I'm going to surprise myself. Uh, that's something that I usually do and, uh, you know, I plan on showing them that I can do it all and, and uh, have a really strong pro day and uh, I'll actually be going to the regional combine uh, in Chicago on the 15th as well. So, that should be pretty good too to get more more eyes on me and uh you know, be back home, hopefully meet uh, some of the guys in Chicago and uh you know, just I'll just do do the best I can with any opportunity given to me, so that's, that, that sounds great, you and you know, it, it'd be hard for me not to ask you this question, Sam. I mean, it's Super Bowl Sunday, and this is the last question for you. Who are you picking today, man? We got the we got the big dance. We got the Denver Broncos taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah. Who wins and why? Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to go with the Broncos because I'm actually today in Denver, so I'm uh, <laughs> actually with all the Bronco crazies right now, and uh, uh, I definitely got to go with the Broncos. Um, I mean, the Seahawks are a great football team. Awesome to use it. But, you know, the connection where I'm in right now, I got to rep Denver because uh, <laughs> that's where I'm getting better at right now. So, I'm going with the Broncos tonight. 
All right, man. It sounds good. I think I'm rolling along with you, man. I mean, it's a, it's total total coin toss. I mean, it could go either way. I'll, I'll roll with Denver Broncos as well. Sam, I really do appreciate your time. It's been a true pleasure. I'm wishing you nothing but the best. Uh, before I let you go, is there anything you'd like to say to myself and our listeners? Uh, yeah, I just want to say hi to my family, uh, hi to Brian and hi uh, to all my fans, and, you know, uh, I'm working hard, and, uh, you know, uh, I'm really getting where I, I, I want to be, and, you know, just staying positive, and I uh, just want to thank you for all the support, and thanks a lot, Chris, for uh, the interview, and, uh, you know, hopefully you can talk some more down the road, and uh, just everyone have a good Super Bowl Sunday, and stay safe out there. All right, sounds great, Sam. Definitely keep in touch, man, and uh, like I said, wishing you nothing but the best, man. Take care, all right?